Welcome back to another set of tips and tricks and today we've got the Solix here. We're going to show you something really cool that you can do on this unit. It's called Mosaics with the Auto Chart Live and today we're going to show you how you can operate in the functions and the features of the Mosaic feature with the Solix, Humminbird Solix unit so you can do side imaging overlays on your mapping. Let's jump in here and we're going to show you how Okay, it's the first thing you're going to do is bring up your mapping screen. And I have just got the zero line card in today with no contours. We're actually on a lake that has contours. But to show you what Auto Chart Live and Auto Chart Mosaics can do for you, we're going to use uh, our zero line card. We have no contours except some Auto Chart stuff we've done. First thing we're going to do is turn our Auto Chart Live on. So we're going to turn Auto Chart Live on. We're going to come to Chart. We're going to come to Auto Chart Live. Now to do the mosaics, we've got a lot of features in here. we got Record. we got Auto Chart Live. That's our percentage, our overlay percentage, our Auto Chart Live options, which we have Depth Highlight, Shallow Water Highlight, uh, the Lake Master features for the Auto Chart Live Data 2. Our main focus today is going to be showing you the mosaic options. You also can look at bottom hardness, vegetation readings. We're going to come down here to Mosaic Live. It's the last one in that master list. So then we can come to Mosaic. We've got our mosaics. We can record, which we're going to turn on. This is the percentage of the overlay on the screen. We're going to you can save the mosaic, your sensitivity and contrast control. This is basically side imaging data over the top of your mapping. So that's going to be very similar to the same side imaging data that you, you're you used to in the past with your side imaging side. And what I recommend is using contour mode because contour mode is going to cut that water column out and it's going to have more imaging data without that uh, water column in your image over the, on the overlay and we'll show you once it gets zoomed in here a little bit We're going to come to mosaic options, and these are your same color palettes that you're used to we'll just uh, switch to color palette 2 here uh, Drawing mode I like to use blended blended allows it if when you come back if you come back and overlap it'll blend that data um, You can keep the nearest or you can keep the maximum uh, how you want and you can correct the game, but we're going to jump in here and we're going to show you what Mosaics does with the auto chart feature you can see we actually had a creek channel here now one of the things I'm going to look at is I'm going to hit my menu and I'm going to go to my auto chart live options because I already see something I'm pretty hot there I'm gonna balance my side imaging data coming up here we got to go back to our mosaic live and we can go to sensitivity Ooh, we don't want that hot that's still a little hot You can see we had a creek channel there, and I'm just going to show you. We've got a tree line. We're going to run the edge of this tree line, but uh, there's a nice point that comes out here. I'll be able to show you some differences. I can see some rocks here. There's a couple little ditches right there that are showing up, as you can see. I'm just going to hit the exit key to get rid of the menu system. But with the contour mode, we don't have our big water column filling up the screen there, and I'll actually turn it off at the end here to uh, show you. Now one of the things you're going to want to do you can see our auto chart live data is being comprised right there is try to try to run the same pattern. That's one tip with mosaics. We're going to we're going to swing around here and as you swing I'm going to try to just barely overlap that. It'll blend it. That's that blending effect we had. But this way you get, you maximize the coverage area 
for your time on the water. You can see that we got to we got to get over here quite a bit. There's quite a bit of distance there. We're going to shoot about half of that blend, but we'll just show you a blend. Hummingbird does it for you. It's a nice option to blend the uh, the data. Well, you can see that point starting to stick out here. About three passes and we'll have a good mosaic built on this. And what I've done is I recommend running in the the low 450 to 520 kilohertz or yeah kilohertz uh, side imaging mode. The main reason for that is you want a biggest coverage area you can get. If you do mega, it's going to reduce the coverage area or 800 kilohertz a little bit. So what I'm running is actually 455 kilohertz uh, to get my maximum range. And you see this old river channel here. We're going to cover that river channel and it's probably on auto range because we're going through different depths we're getting a little different widths we've got to be able to go select and change that too um, our auto chart live So what it's doing is automatically ranging. I've got to check in on that feature. Uh, I haven't found that yet. I just, this is the first time I've gone to some real wide. But you can see we're blending right there on that edge and we want to capture all of that. We want to be right there. And you can see this river channel being built there. You can see how it blends in. We're shooting different directions is one of the things you're going to see the difference there. Now we didn't have that side of the channel, but now we got both sides of the channel there. And if we were concerned on uh, imaging that channel, that's where we would uh, want to focus on. I'm going to check one thing. Got lots of plankton in here this morning. Okay, now we're uh, we had to change uh, SD cards. We uh, filled that one up. <laughs> the one I've been uh, but you can see we're building this up just zoom out just a hair here let it refresh and draw but you can see we're gonna get ready to uh, intersect our river channel here again And creating a side imaging mosaic. This is great if you're uh, fishing a new lake or just wondering why those fish uh, like to relate to one area and not another. We're in 40 foot so I think the mosaic's gonna follow the auto range. I will check on that and post it as a tip at the bottom you can see when we dropped off into 60 we got wider uh, I'm gonna guess 100 percent that mosaics use auto range feature uh, so you're gonna get more coverage area which doesn't hurt 
there's nothing wrong with it it'll just blend it uh, you can set your mount but you can see that nice creek channel right through there we're gonna let's see we jumped up we uh, 16 foot here And it gets real shallow up here. So one of the things, if you're doing mosaic, stay in the same depth range as best best you can. Like it would probably be better to stay in a common depth area versus going from shallow to deep, shallow to deep. Because you're going to have little holes like that. And we can go fill that up. I'll just show you how. We're in seven foot of water here. We'll come back and we'll fill that little hole in. But that actually, that auto range feature is going to help reduce the amount of time. Uh, that you're spending on the water. The other thing, another tip that you could do is is range in the same direction or how the imaging is going to show you the the data better like shooting uphill versus shooting downhill. Uh, you can see this is a point here off this river channel and we found us a little tree there that's gonna bobble us a little bit but we filled in that spot got a nice blended side imaging data And you can you can come over here menu auto chart live again. Come down here. Whoop. Happy with the buttons this morning. Mosaic live. And if you want to adjust sensitivity, it will adjust everything. You can adjust sensitivity and you can change contrast there's our sensitivity adjustment here's our contrast adjustment and you can see our river channel nice and beautiful through there and we've got every inch of it covered The other thing you could do is set north up, or I'm using heads up with my uh, and we've got it a little bit dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that menu one more time. Hit auto chart live. If you use the joystick, you can come down here to the bottom, select it, and I'm going to come to sensitivity. And I'm just going to adjust it up a little bit. And that's Auto Chart Live Mosaics. Simple, easy. It's a hummingbird. And you got beautiful overlays. We made uh, four passes, got it all taken care of there. You can see that nice river bend there. Hit your auto chart live, come down to the bottom to mosaic live, save mosaic, 
we're going to save location card 2 and save. It's done. And that's all you need to do to create and save a site imaging mosaic. Now one other thing, you can come up here to mosaic per percentage. You can turn your mosaic off. You can turn it on. You can also turn the percentage down. And you can just see the bleed through with the map. If you want 100%, that's going to show you all the data. You learn a lot more about the mosaic option on the Solix from Humminbird. It's the premier unit with premier features like Auto Chart Live Mosaic option. Uh, get more, get you a Humminbird. Get out on the water, check this new Solix out. It's got lots of features packed in it that gives you a lot of options to do more and get more done in a simple single package. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks. And tune in next time as we go more in depth about the awesome features of these Humminbird products.